Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fireman Engage PMU. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see. And with that, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest to you. This video is my parting gift to you for like a week or two. Like I still might stream Ace Attorney on Thursdays, but finals are coming up. Projects are due. My organs are exploding. To be honest, I was going to record two videos tonight. New mystery episode and this. But now it's just this because I won't lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! The final battle, you know, the chapter with the island in it, has hands. So, yeah. But most importantly, I want to check out my new shit. I spent so long at all those dumbass DLC missions. Okay. Let's summon Blue. And we'll go. So let's test out my new Fire Emblem Veronica. There's like a new Heroes trailer in an hour. This is the 15th. I'm recording this. Oh, we got Hector. He can't reach. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, I have to... I. What I was supposed to do actually is use Posado to uh, actually not even kill this guy. <laughs> Panet, help with the proceedings. You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, comment if you want. Would it be fine? Like, I inherited Wrath on her because that's what I did to my last run. Um, Tell me what to do. But, like, I'm thinking since she's my only unit with HP, I might just keep the Ike Emblem on her. So is it fine if I, like... <laughs> Would you be fine? I know I said I wouldn't use them earlier, but would, it, would you be fine with me using the SP books to refund myself? Because there's no point in having Wrath on her if I'm just going to keep Ike on her anyway. And I watched Danny Doyle's Panette video today. Go subscribe to her, by the way. She's awesome. And, uh, and like, apparently Holdout is what you want. So, like, can I, can I refund myself, please? I made a mistake. I want to go back. I gotta go back. Back to the yours. past. Samurai Jack. I never even watched Samurai Jack, honestly. I heard it's good, but like, I don't know. There's so much to do. There's so much to see. I ain't got time to watch fucking Samurai Jack. What I am doing right now is I'm watching the Fresh Prince of Kill Yourself, uh on my friend's HBO Max account, so that's been fun. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and she says, you're moving with your auntie and Uncle Miller. And when I came by, there's a dice in the mirror. I hate how like RNG doesn't change because like, I don't know. I'm not even gonna need those two charges, but but yeah, uh, Violent turns out he has more hands than you would expect. Well, his, let me be more clear, his buddies have hands. Violent, he's not the one with hands in that new mystery chapter I tried recording tonight. I got to a certain part, Vooper, aka Chris, died. So, like, at that point I was just like, it is what it is, I'll finish that recording in like two weeks. <laughs> Fuck, I mean, that Let's Play's already taken me a long time. A couple more times won't hurt anyone. Okay, so, like, I need to, like, change the future when it comes to that dog shit RNG. Hey, Hector! You can not take these guys on. You can take these guys on, though. Get Silver Lance and you're not perf weapon. Cool. This is interesting, though, how one little dumb thing can ruin your career because, like... Uh, I'm watching it, and whenever my family's in the room, they're just like, ah, geez, to think he slapped somebody at the Oscar. It's like, this is a show from, like, uh, 30 years ago. The slap thing really has nothing to do with it, but... It's guess all they can think about when they see William Smith's young face. Because he was young back then. Okay, can you have, like, proper RNG now, you stupid bitch? There you go. He did it. There you go. She gained, like, no EXP from that. In case you, like, skipped my Emblem Paralog chapters because you don't care, uh... Let's just say... 
uh, let's just say that she, in particular, Lapis, had a very formative experience on Camilla's map, and let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. She was, uh, blessed with strength. Okay. God, can you motherfuckers just kill this motherfucker already? Why has got to be such a process? And in case you also skipped on my paralog chapters because you didn't care, like, I beat Ikes and Lins and Lucidas. Didn't do Corns though, because my army, like, quite literally didn't have the strength to carry on. So, like, yeah. It, uh, it's like that sometimes, won't lie to you. Why am I still in a danger zone? Is it because of the staff? A little cringe staffers, you think I'm afraid? You think I'm afraid of the dark? Feel? But yeah. Honestly though, I talked about this in my new mystery episode, but that's not going up for like two weeks now, so... I am pretty close to graduating college. Once I do finals this week, I have like... Well, two weeks from now. I have like one semester left, and then that's it. That's college. So I wonder how my adult life will play out when I'm a fully grown man with a Fire Emblem YouTube channel and hopefully a girlfriend. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know, I would have had a chick over to uh, swim this weekend if it wasn't rainy out because for some reason it was 80 degrees and now it's the, the society has decided that we needed to go back to it being snowy actually. So that's interesting. That's fun. Fun, 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 and the- why did you crit me? You... Stupid... I, d I don't quote Kempf often, ladies and gentlemen, but... Really? Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this time I'm having some of this lady I don't care for. I'm so glad Goldmanger wasn't drafted. I said this before in this playthrough, but... Something about her just makes me deeply uncomfortable on, like, a primal level. Just, like, looking at her brings me displeasure. Something about her just gives me the bad vibes. It's like the way she looks at the camera. Like I said, I've said this before on this Let's Play, but... Her vibes are not sound. You yeah, actually great lines me out of the way, how rude. I can't summon those elf thunder twits. And let's see, this guy's a coming. Can I kill you? Is the question. With enough luck and pixie dust, perhaps. Perhaps. And let's see, you've done your job, so like you can like like a bow knight. Like I'm trying to get to that village before like this guy gets to it. So I wonder if I can, like, just kind of, just kind of, like, um, nah, that ain't gonna work out. Alright. So how can I get to you? I guess I'll put myself in a convenient position for killing enemies. There we go there. Fram does something. These colors are kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, I think there's a Fire Emblem Heroes trailer in, like, an hour or something. Like, it's 9.30 right now, and I think they're at 11, so, like, if they don't add you knock in a night, I'm gonna scream. I know I said in an earlier video that Jade was my favorite, but I've changed... I think... I still like Jade a lot, but, like, I may have changed my mind a little bit. A little... Why are you frozen? You silly bitch. Stop being frozen. I gotta fix this situation. I gotta... Put a fix out. The fix is in, as they say. Okay, die. I, will atone. I don't like I'm not a fan of being frozen, you silly, 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 silly little silly little silly person from silly town, from the little silly village, from the little ooh. Yeah. God, I gotta make a whole ass unity game. For a final project. I know I'm passionate about game design, but like I'm working on so much other shit, it's hard. 
Eugene. Take him to the fridge. Thanks. That wasn't very fridge of Eugene. Did being like one damage off even after I fed you a meal before this chapter. Maddening enemies, am I right or am I right? Okay. Can, okay. My units may be a little bit uh, powerful for these units since I did like actually six paralogs in a row. Lapis especially. Lapis got the biggest increase in power. <laughs> if you were there for the Camilla episode, you know why. But um, what if you actually helped out? Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. I see. You put the fix in. Okay. Not gonna lie, Rosado, you're kind of bad. Like if Gold Mary and Rosado die this chapter, I'm gonna be honest. So be it. Like, this is kind of whatever. I could engage, though, and then, like, maybe I'll Astro Storm this guy, this fine gentleman. Okay, yeah, and then that puts me closer to my objective. Actually, having a Rosado die would be bad, since they're, like, the one with the ring I need to actually damage monsters. Let's see, and I'll go here with my Longbow. So I can actually counterattack the Thoron, bitches. And then Diamant, you can probably finish off this guy, right? There we go. You're done for. Good job. You did it, pal. You did nothing. You did gain... Now you have 16 strength, because you're a good unit. You can tell a unit is good when even on fixed mode, they're not doing too well. You know, there's no such thing as being RNG screwed. You, you're just kind of like that. Okay, so I can, like... I'll move up as far ahead as I can. And then just, like, meal dealer the bow, the bow knight, so I'm not in range of, like, an actual problem for me. Honestly, she's not even that much stronger, because, like, she still needs that to, like, one round, guys, because maddening enemies are tough. But now I am more evasive, which is fun. And she does have that level 20 with the lead now, so her shit activates longer. So I can make more use of the Shadow Clones. Alright, and I guess that'll be it for this turn. Okay. Mm, didn't mean do it. Cool, I'm impenetrable. And I am undefeatable, and I'm hanging on. Okay, bye, Hector. It's been swell. Really? The fuck? Okay, whatever. And now the water has increased, so that thief has been contained for a while longer. The problem is now I am also contained. What the... Goddamn game. Video games. Am I right or am I right, ladies and gentlemen? I'm hanging on from the other side. Hey, what's up? Cool 0% hit rate you got going there. That's a nice clean 0, buddy. And now I'll get the fuck out of here. And if I have an elixir, I guess I'll drink one. I do. Alright, and now you need to prepare to die, I guess. Let's see, Irvin. Ooh. <laughs> Buddy, I feel for you. But let me get that dual strike in with the Ragnell. Sick. Ragnell's always been one of the cooler swords in the series. Not as cool as Binding Blade, obviously. But, um, it's up there. And then, like, I can Rider's Bane you if I had one, but I don't. Uh, but I can just one-shot you anyway. <laughs> Awesome. I misread that. I didn't one shot. I actually just doubled them. Ah, well, who cares? I really don't want to do that. And I feel like that would result in your immediate uh, termination. So let's not do that. And you losers can keep moving onward and upward. Really, dude? Okay, whatever. Dude, I'm just gonna engage so I can, like... Emblem, there. Engage. I'm free! I'm free! 
How do you have four turns with her? That's kind of crazy, Gene. What did you bond with this chick? Uh, so let's not. I'll save it if, like, it's important. But for now, it's not that important. Cool 12% hit rate. You know, Lapis, I think you missed a vital key fact there. That you're supposed to dodge the fuck. You're supposed to dodge the enemy, you baboon. Oh, God. These are the things I have to deal with as the commander of an army. At least the time is quality. If only my units weren't baboons. Do to do. I've been seeing a lot of people on Twitter call Camilla Mother recently. I don't know what that's about. I don't, you know, I don't even follow, like, topics on Twitter. You know, it's really fucking annoying. I'm, like, I only finished the Alabasta arc in one piss. I forgot to attack with you. Whoops. Um. And I did call it one piss on purpose. I do it to make my friend who likes one piece a lot mad. And, uh. That was when I'm misspeaking. And, uh, I keep getting fucking re recommended it on Twitter, even though I muted the word. It's so, like, I literally have one piece. And hashtag One Piece muted. Like, both of those things. But then... Oh, wow, that's a actually nothing. Good job. But then again, he can't hurt me, I guess, either. So... Yikes. Uh, so let's see. My objective for this is to kill these two losers. Cool, I guess. Um... Still gotta kill this thief, so I will do that right now. Or... I'll like... I don't wanna... I don't really wanna beef with that dragon. I'll call doubles. So they can just chill, I guess. Actually, no, I'll run out in one turn. That's kinda stupid. But whatever. What's done is done. And Yunaka, if you could please... Find it in your heart to uh, help me out here. That'd be great. Because <laughs> the situation right now, I'll be honest, it's not like an ideal situation. It could be better. Actually, no. You're just like a guy. So I can just kind of kill you. Yeah, okay. So, like, this is fine. You're dead. Daggers ahoy. Okay. Drop your guard. And then I dropped your guard. Nice. Yeah, if they don't add Yunaka tonight, I'm gonna go ape shit. Like, come on. The most obvious everyone wants Yunaka in the game. This is fact. And yet, she is not in the game. Ete is in the game, but Yunaka is. That is just insulting. That is insulting, intelligence systems. I don't know what you were cooking with that one. Putting Ete in the game. Everyone's favorite unit, Ete. You're done for. <laughs> everyone's favorite unit, Ete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can exactly kill this guy, that's cool. Get owned, idiot. Okay, cool. Yunaka, you can handle, like, those guys for now. And then, like... I really don't have a thing to worry about from Little Miss Perfect over here. Little Miss actually has a strength stat. <laughs> do do do. God, she really... You know, as someone who's a fan of Charlotte, a big fan, you could say... I'm not going to say biggest fan, because that'd be wrong. Like, some people draw fan art. Some people like her in strange ways that I guess would technically qualify them as bigger fans than me. You know, keeping it PG. But, um... Big fan. So having a unit with her playstyle be the best unit in the game, very nice. Obviously, she does not have the Charlotte charm. That aspect is missing. But, you know, you can't expect every unit to be the best unit in Fire Emblem. But, I do love her a lot. She says, hell yeah, when she crits people. I mean, what's not to love? Okay. Thank you, Shadow Jitsu clones, for saving me. 
She doesn't double this one, though, but, uh, doesn't need to. <laughs> and that's how we get business done over here, ladies and gents. That is how we get business done. And someone else is on the village. It's fun. And this beast is on the prowl. So that's fun. I guess I'll just elixir. And hope for the best. I don't even remember what's in this village, but you usually want to get all the villages anyway. It's just a generally good idea. But I will put you here. Block that off, and then, like... Let's see. You have, like, a magical tome. That's cringe. Get out of here. No one asked. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest, these Psalm chapters, I'm glad they're almost over. Like, after this one, it's over. They're just so kinda... I just don't like their pacing very much, honestly. Uh, cause it's like, with this one, you have to wait for the water to go up and down. That's like Fire Emblem 7 Rain-ass gimmick, and nobody liked that. And, like... With, um... And then, like, with the one... With, like, the... My Sama thing that's like literally a Revelations map. Which is fitting since it's Korin, but still, that doesn't make it like enjoyable. The one where you f fight, um, Hortensia is fine, and then the one before that is annoying as slow move quicksand. So, yeah, honestly, this is not like the highlight of the game, this middle portion of it. Not like Conquest, where like the middle portion is like the actual best part. <laughs> yeah, the Hoshidian chapters where you actually Conquest and can be fun, it's just that. If your army isn't well prepared, you're in for, like, a real fucking trip in Hoshido. And that made younger me a bit salty back in the day, I can tell you. Because when you're just, like, uh, like, shit, like a 15-year-old or, like, a 14-year-old playing Fire Emblem Fates, you're not thinking that far ahead. Like, now that I have brain, I can enjoy all aspects of Conquest to my full power. Because I'm like, oh... The Fox chapter's coming up. I should have my soul dagger unit, Charlotte. Take care of this. Oh, I need to capture so so fly units so I can make uh Fuga's chapter tolerable. So now that I have like executive brain function and foresight, not that bad. But I can see how like if it's your first time playing Conquest, or like if you're a younger player. I can really see how that shit would piss you off so fast. But luckily when I was younger I managed to power through. I remember being so fucking relieved when I finally beat Hardbot on that game. That was just... Ah... Uh, what a relief it is. Yep. I'm thinking like shit. I'm thinking about making a video called like Fire Emblem Fates. 10 years later where I just go over my history with the game and how good it is and holds it up 10 years later because it is like 8 years old now, right? Like that game will have officially come out a freaking while ago soon and I definitely say it's one of my most formative games ever played. Like that shit just hits different. It'd be fun because I grew up with the game like, you know, other people didn't grow up with the game but I did. Like, that was literally, like, my first Fire Emblem game was Awakening. Like, everyone else is obviously... Why did you hit? I fucking hate that these people are hitting me. I don't play nice great weapon, idiot. Um, but I wasn't like, oh, God, Fire Emblem, until, like, Fates, where it's like, alright, you know, this shit might be as good as Pokemon. Of course, then I played Revelation. And the internet kind of tainted my opinion on Fates for a while, because everyone was like, Fates bad, circle jerk, ha 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 So that was kind of obnoxious. Um, but eventually I realized not to be a sheep. I've said this on this channel before, and all I got was a fucking recover. Alright, this was not worth it. Good job, Lapis, you got me treasure that wasn't even worth this. Worth it. No fault to your own, but still disappointing. Alright, this guy exists. How about you don't exist? Fool. These dragons. I don't like them. 
I need anyone that needs the XP. I guess I should be, like, feeding kills to Diamant, since he's such a weak-ass hoe. Remember a weak-ass motherfucker, if you will. 16, sh 16 strength in this economy. Ladies and gentlemen, can you believe it? 16 strength in this economy. It's hard to justify sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. It's hard to justify. Well, I really don't need to justify it. This is a PMU. I can't... Uh, it's not like I can change what units I use. But still. Point stands. The point stands. Doesn't it? Yeah. That'd be a fun video to make. Of course, I need to wait, like, two years to make it. This game reminds me a lot of Conquest in some ways, but... Well, I actually like the story of this game. <laughs> it's fun. I like Alir. Alir is a really fun protagonist. Like, some people, like... Oh, but she's an avatar. Like, not really, though, because, like, you just pick her name. You don't pick her class. You don't pick her attribute. Like, Corrin, I'd say, is, like, an avatar because you customize their look. Uh, you customize their class, what class set they have. You customize lots of shit about them. But with Alir, it's like, you just pick their name. Like, you just pick her name, which in this case is, like, your mom. Nothing special. And, like, the, the personality is hers, and hers alone. And you know what? She's fun! Fun thing. Cool character modes with the faceless and stuff, and starting out evil but wanting to be good. And, like, it's cool that you actually get to see evil Alir early on. Like, okay, if you're watching this playthrough, there's no way you don't know how this game ends. So shut up if you complain about that. If you complain about spoilers, but, like... Facing off against Evil Alir, and you can see how she was, like, always so robotic and stuff, because, like, it's interesting how you actually get to see how she was originally. That's fun. Because, like, in Conquest, everyone was like, oh, Garon, he used to be Peak, he used to be Kino, he used to be Ra. And, like, you never actually see him be P Kino, Peak, and Ra. You just see him being increasingly discomforted. <laughs> But, yeah, it's nice that they really explore the characters in this game. Well, no, that's not <laughs> explore the characters. They explore Alir a lot. And the side characters kind of get uh, the bad end of that deal because, like... Uh... Kind of, like, the characters don't really have anything to do with what's going on in the story, like... And this is true for most Final Games, right? This isn't a diss, right? Like, why is Gene here? Why is, like... You're just retainer, so you're obligated to be here. It's like, with three houses, it's like with every single battle, it's like, okay, I can see how the students, I can see how the characters would have, like, a personal stake in this. I know it's a meme fucking line at this point, because it was overused and stuff, but, like, that line where it's like, Dorothea's like, But we just killed Ferdinand, Professor. He was our friend. Remember our friend Ferdinand von Ayer? And, like, yeah, so, like, with Three Houses, it's cool that, like, even all the side characters are, like, personally invested in what's currently transpiring in the story. Except Violet, so it's, like, the opposite. In this game, Alir gets a lot of the spotlight and is fleshed out and they have their motives and everything. But in return, all the side characters are, like, whatever, I don't really... Like, you always have your favorites in Final Games. Like, Gonzalez is not personally invested in Roy's conflict, but he's still my favorite because he's cool. I'm just saying from, like, a story-telling telling perspective. Like, Gonzalez isn't personally invested. Gonzalez has nothing to do with the plot of Three Houses. I mean, nothing to do with the plot of Binding Blade. There is one character, two characters, that have anything to do with the plot, the plot of Fire Emblem the Binding Blade. Actually, four. That is Roy. That is Merlinus. That is Zephyl, and that is Guinevere. Kind of glad you, you're not involved in the story. I just got reminded of how annoying you are. God, I kind of wanted to finish off all these assholes before the annoying people showed up. Can I get Marmy in range like this turn? I can. And I will! <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to, like, Fire Emblem move out. I'm Fire Emblem my fucking engage right now. Let's go. Kill them, Panette. Kill their stupid asses. Show them the meaning of regret. I am the prophet of regret. But yeah. Like in this, like, yeah. Like, 
I won't even say Alfred's involved in the- well, that's not fair. If I can say, like, fucking Dorothy is involved in the plot of Three Houses, I guess Alfred giving his two cents at the end of every mission is also fair, but, like... Um... I don't know. I hope you understand what I mean, like... Feels like with Three Houses, just because of the world building and everything, that, like, every battle you do, it makes sense why someone would be fighting. Of course you have stupid, dumb stuff, like... Some characters, their motivation for joining another house just makes no sense, but that's just, like, a gameplay thing. Like, most of the time... Yeah. And you know all their interpersonal conflicts, and why they're doing this, and why they're doing that. And, like, you can kind of get a good idea of characters, like, outside of... you, Marmy, I hope you realize... That this means- Oh, I had that wrong! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I just, uh, used, uh, Diamond's core and skill to just, uh, make them stay in place this time. Felt like that made the most sense. Rather than wasting my, like, Ivy on that crap. Okay, you're gonna smash me, Marmy, but I'm still gonna grade A through you. I was hoping that would get Mavier's ass in gear. Oh, it did. Cool. Please don't water up this turn. I would fume. Okay, good. Run while you can. Run while you can. Get her ass. Oh, or don't. Jesus. Okay, how can you contribute to this since you're, like, all the way over here? Let's go together. Hmm. I can do good damage to Mavier and literally nothing to her, so, like, that's fun. Okay. So, like, let's wrap this up, I guess. <laughs> hmm. That's the smell of not a lot of damage. That's the smell of not a lot of damage. Okay. So how am I going to position this so I can get off a good, like, goddess dance? Okay, so like... Maybe like... Kill you a bit more. Chain guard, you son of a bitch. You annoying asshole. Okay. Okay. So, t t t t get off a chain guard. Can't, uh, can't, can't attack here since I don't have the long go. Okay. So, ideally, I want to kill Marmy. Okay, so, like, say that Panette attacked here. Then I would want you to be in this spot. Okay, yeah, I have a plan for this. I just, uh, figured it out in my head. Figured it out all in my head. And that helps out the process, I won't lie. Won't lie, that helps. And now I just kill you. But let's actually still try to set that up. So, like, if I want Seedal to get Goddess Danced, I would need him to be, like, here. So, let's do that. So, let's just kill Marmy right now. There we go. Off the rails. Yeah, I hope you understood what I was saying about, like, being involved in the story. And that's not, like, a slight against this game, you know? Like, I love Binding Blade a lot. But its story doesn't, like, need Gonzalez to be involved in it. It's fun because he's there. He has his own thing going on. I'm just saying, Three Houses, like, love or hate the story. Uh, I think it's fine. Like, I think some of the details get, like, scrutinized a bit too hard, personally. Me, personally. Like, I think it is fine for what it did. Okay. Fucking chain garden, motherfuckers. Get out the way. I need to get to that guy over there. And kill him. You dumb sons of bitches. 
Get out my way! But yeah. I definitely like the characters in Three Houses overall more. Because Lysithia was one of the characters. <laughs> uh, no one in this game reaches that level, but still. Alright. The four goats doing their thing. Unfortunately, it looks like Jean will be unable to make it to the party. I still need to, like, clear the way, though. So, like, Jean, can you, like, bird up? Bird up! Oh, hell yeah. Still not good enough. I can, like, use my lightning to do no damage. Yeah, you tell him, Jean. Birding up did not go very well for Jean, I won't lie to you. Whatever. I'll just Yunaka this guy. Actually, let's see. Oh, Fire Emblem. Engage, and we'll go. And we'll Raging Storm. Okay, yeah, this is guaranteed. There, so I don't waste an action just dealing with this dumbass monk. There we go. And now I am Raging Stormed, and let's get a Lapis Lazuli in on this. And Mooglier. Get rid of this stupid idiot, and this chapter wasn't that hard. Because instead of fighting all the reinforcements, I just killed the bosses. Like a real Fire Emblem player. LTC, baby. Woot woot. Yeah, you're like a guy with high res. Actually, you're not a guy with high res. Wow. Killing you with Panat's funnier, though, so I'm gonna do that. Bye! 100% crit. Bye! Bye! I see 100% crit. I'm gonna use it. You ain't Charlotte, but boy, howdy, you're fun. And now... You die. Good day. Let's have some fun. fun. And now they can't fall here. They must retreat. All right, LTC. Let's go. We LT to the C. That I'm surprised Lapis wasn't here. Honestly, she did lots of combat. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that has been this chapter again. This video is my parting gift because now I have to go into, uh, I have no life. I have no mouth. I must scream. I must, uh, uh, pass my finals mode. I must turn in something for my final project. I must do something. Oh, I hate doing things. I like doing things that I like doing, but, you know, ladies and gentlemen, gonna be honest not too invested in statistics. And with that, I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.